Hello again. In this video, I'm going to install FNIS Behaviors, the Creature Packs, and I'm going to be adding the EXEs of Body Slide and Finis to uh, Mod Organizer here. First, first we'll grab the Behavior. I'll skip through that quickly. And we'll set this as the data directory. And then we'll add the creature pack. Again, setting the data as the data directory. And just one quick thing, when you go to download FNIS, make sure you grab this one right here, at least at the time of this video. It has a fix for mod organizer, as well as the full patch. Alright, now we're gonna enable all the mods we've installed. And a quick little tidbit, these icons right here are very useful for Mod Organizer. It's one of the reasons I love Mod Organizer so much. If you go to Information and show Conflicts, it'll tell you what other mods it's overriding and what other mods may be overriding it. So it helps for solving issues with mod conflicts. And again, you want your skeleton to be overwritten by nothing. It should overwrite Realistic Force, but nothing overwriting your skeleton or you run into lots of issues. All right, now we'll hit the data. We'll run down here to Tools. You'll want to go to Generate FNIS for Users, and then the EXE right here. We'll be adding that as an executable. And then we'll also go to Caliente Tools, Body Slide, and we'll be adding Body Slide the same way. And they should be in here now, both Body Slide and FNIS. Alright, that's all I'm doing for this video. In the next video, I will actually run FNIS, and I'll run Body Slide to make a batch of armors. And I'll go a little bit more into it than I did in my last videos. Alright, talk to you later.